Hey guys, what's up? I'm pretty sure I got X11 in wild. Standard most likely just X10. But yeah, I have a pretty good wild run last September. So October should be X11 and faster to get a legend. And I've been using mostly just pirate rogue. Just my own take. Well, of course, the key cards and broken stuff are there. But I really do love Burn, so I have Wicked Stab. Yeah, this one's for standard. But yeah, I'm around top 7% in wild, so that should pretty much seal X11. And let's just start ladder, you know, with Pirate Rogue. You have two versions, but this one I think is much better. So yeah, we get X11 and let's go. Right, this Priest is an okay matchup. There's Shadow Priest, Shadow Priest, the aggro version, and of course you have Renathal, Reno Shadow Priest. I think they're both good matchups, to be honest. Worst case is getting patches in your opening hand, but you know. Otherwise, this deck's just really solid. Of course, Treasure Distributor is the best one drop. But I decided to keep this 2 and 3 drop. Hosen Roughhouser is really really good. For this one, uh, I usually, if I have the coin, ships cannon and 2, then coin the 1 drop. That's usually my play. Of course, we do not want to get the patches. And we're good. Hopefully it kills at least one minion. Oh man. Oh well. Yeah, it did kill at least one minion. Now they're forced to kill the um, ship's cannon. And hopefully the others get unnoticed or untouched. Then we hose in on turn 3. So really po powerful 3 drop right here. Uh, I might not do this on 3 if a lot of my minions die. Okay, we can do this. Maybe I should have killed the bigger dude? I don't know. Uh, same thing, I think they'll be forced to deal with the hose and roughhouser. Next turn, I could just double deckhand hero power, right? Just too good. And you want to be in control of the board more often than not. That's why I traded. At least for the aggro matchups. Okay. Come, pray they have no way to heal, so Come, when they raise dead, uh, we're closer to the goal. I'm not saying we won this game yet, but yeah, we could top deck something really crazy. For example, we could get Cold Blood right here from Gear Shift. That's the best possible scenario. If not... Well, we just trade. Um, okay, not super bad. I mean... Let's deal with the distributor. And yeah, we've got Wicked Stab for Reach. Shadow Priest does not have a board clear. All they could do is trade. So, I don't think they could kill this whole board. And we have Wicked Stab right here, dealing 4 damage. Essentially, the opponent's down to 5 because we have hero power. So we only need 3 minions to survive. I don't think I'd die here. No way. And the fact they didn't trade, yeah, it's just a 1 game. Alright. So, yeah, let's see if we face some control matchups. Uh, 
another priest. Wisdom shall bring victory. Could be the control or could be the same exact shadow priest as last time. I don't normally keep toy boat uh, against the aggro. It doesn't do much good. Maybe it's gain 3 health, you know, because they have to deal with it. But yeah, normally I don't keep it. If I had a coin, maybe. And if I know I was facing control. Okay, we're going first here. Alright, this is most likely Inner Fire Priest, which is actually a very good deck as well. If I look at the stats from last time, last month, when I was playing Pirate Rogue and I was facing Inner Fire Priest, let me check my stats. Yeah, I, I have a 44% win rate, I won 4 of 9 games. So, it, I guess you could consider it a bad matchup. It, it's a very small sample size though. But yeah, it seems pretty tough. Because they could get their graves... Uh, grave... Yeah, the taunt guy out really quick. And it's hard to push damage when they do that on turn 2 or 3 or 4, you know. Yeah, but Inner Fire Priest last month for me was like... Just how many percent of my meta? Let me check. I do keep a comprehensive list. 14. 14 out of how many games? Out of 450 Am games. Very small percentage. <laughs> Best stop deck here. Alright. I don't think we could die on turn 3. I don't remember a scenario that that's possible. Radiant, steal this guy. Nah, I, I still don't think so. Okay. Well, hopefully not, you know. Okay, they wasted the inner fire. Most likely some sort of conceit going on here. Why would you do that though? Ah, for the handmaiden. Well, yep, we just win. Alright. Let's see if we match into some control. Okay, Shaman, most likely Reno. Uh, Renathal Reno is the most likely candidate here. I don't keep uh, I don't keep ship's cannon when I'm going first. We need those one drops, you know. And treasure distributor, the best one drop. Okay, most likely Reno Shaman. This is one bad matchup. They have so much efficient turn three sweepers. It's hard. It's if they have it in their hand or they have ways to draw their overload cards. It's really, really hard. So maybe I don't overcommit, but even if I don't, you know, the removal is so efficient. Sweepers, that is. Um, oh, they got devolved. Well, what to expect? Oh wow, this is tricky. I think I go with Hosen here. Yeah, but these dudes are not pirates, so pretty sad. Ooh, okay, now I'm not getting the Hauser. Unless it locks out. Oh man. That is bad for me. I think we gear shift just to get it over with. Ok, 
Okay, let's hope there is no sweeper around. But yeah, we're not exactly representing big damage. Yep, there's the lightning storm. Yeah, uh, most likely I might concede early if this is not early enough to that I should. Yeah, this is a bad hand. Um, we got swept and it's hard to recover. If I check my Reno Shaman stats from last one, uh, the matchup, eh, I know it's pretty bad, even worse than 44%. Let me check. Yeah, it's 18%. I have an 18% win rate against this deck. Should I still even be playing? Maybe if I get a one drop pirate next turn, then we concede with a passion after the next sweeper. The time has come to yeah, see, all they needed was one sweeper. Yeah, let's just concede. It's not meant to be. Oh, this hand's bad. Okay, whenever I mulligan 3 like this, we just hope... Well, we always hope we don't draw patches. Alright, pretty good. Um, shadow. Another aggro. So the risk I'm taking by not playing on turn 1 is, well, number 1 we might draw patches and number two shadow priest might play cult neophyte and we don't get the coin on two and we're out of tempo and you know losing health see uh this happens it really does happen let's just force him to kill treasure distributor this kind of sucks it's not that we lost the game, it's just that, yeah, that's very unfortunate. Okay. They might kill only one. One that permits them. But yeah, I'm actually... In a bad spot right now. Hero power. Ooh, got to kill both of them. Good for you. Wait, what? Why? Oh, that's why. Okay. Not that bad of a choice. Love the feel of wind in me face. Wait for me. Wait yeah, I don't know if this is correct. Just go face. Load it up. I'm playing a dangerous game here, but they have one card in hand. They'll be forced to kill the treasure distributor anyway, so that's minus two damage. Okay. Yeah, they're gonna kill the uh, distributor for sure. But how do they trade this up? Probably gonna keep the attendant alive. 
Yeah, that's their play. Uh, that's pretty much fine. Okay. Then we attack this guy. Yeah, we're winning. Attendant and Patches. Pretty bad for them. Alright, we win this game. Uh, they hero power the 6 1, but if you count this. Oh, I am a leg. I mean, I win. Alright, deck list in the description. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys again next time.